Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to review site 123 and my goal is to give you an insight about their services and the pros and cons of using site 123. I will also be sharing or showing you rather the basic functionality and other things that you can benefit from using it. So if you want to know if site 123 is for you or not, continue watching. Now site 123 is a website builder designed for individual users that lets you create a website as easy as one, two, three. They have tools that specializes in helping users to build their own website, not just ordinary website, but attractive websites in the easiest and fastest way possible. The company was founded in 2016, and the man behind this cool site is none other than Gnome Alish. They offer ready-made templates and layouts for users who don't have the time to customize or set up the websites, or for those who don't want to hire professionals to develop their websites. Now, the thing about Site123 is that they, they don't have the drag and drop capability that most websites use, although it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing somehow. And the reason behind this is that they want you to upload your content right away and then choose a variety of mock-up for every tool. It's also SEO friendly, minus the coding thing. Now, what's also cool about this site is that the interface automatically adjusts on any device, so it keeps your site looking great at any angle. Furthermore, it has an, an online store that lets you switch into an e-commerce site. And then Site123 also helps you grow your online brand. It features social media integrations that lets you connect between your website and your social media accounts. They also have the email marketing system that helps you engage with your visitors and 24 seven customer support should you need any assistance or if you have any questions. So right now I'm gonna show you the basic functionality of Site123. I'm gonna show you how easy to use to navigate the, the, the site and how you can build your own attractive website in an instance. So after typing in the URL, you will be redirected to the homepage, which is create a free website today, blah, 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 blah. So I'll be clicking the start here button. The thing also is that it will ask you a series of questions before you can log in. It's taking time. And here, um, you will be redirected to this page. What type of website do you want? So they have a bunch of categories that you can choose from. They have business or are you creating a website for an online store or is it for a blog or a restaurant, creation and sports, so on and so forth. So for the benefit of this video, I'll be clicking on blog and let's see what we can create out of it. So add your blog name. Let's try There, and let's get started. So you have the options to start my website using your name or email and create a password, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you also have the option to sign in via Facebook or Google account. Let's click Google account, it's the easiest way anyway. Yay, there we are. Congratulations on your new website. Okay, start building your website, yes. Uh, nope, okay. 
So here, as you can see, this is the basic website that they suggested. So the name of the blog is Travel with Yepta. And you have the home, the my blog, about me, contact the writer. And below they have features like what's up like the content that you are about to publish or you've, been, you've already published, like seven blog tips for every blogger. You also have the about me feature and the contact the writer. So pretty much it's like an instant website for you. Now, everything here is customizable from the background, the font, the font size, and content. Also, over here, let's click on home page. You can change the name of your um, blog if you if you like, if you like, or you can go. You can add pages. Over here, you have the styles and fonts, where you can change colors. Um, you can customize it to your liking or whatever. You also have the head, um, the header menu options, where you can opt to show your phone number, show your location address, social networks. Also, the footer options, which you can check your social media networks if you like to show how uh, to include it on your blog site, and so on and so forth. Settings: we have the website type. Is it a single page or all page are displayed in? On the home page just like this one or you want a multiple page that shows every page of your website separately also you have the search engine optimization which is the SEO SEO friendly capability I mean the one that I mentioned earlier so you just type in your SEO here and then your home page description and keywords so it actually boosts your uh, website and of course, the language, if, um, if you're Danish, Denmark, whatever, or let's just get, stick with English. So right now, um, I'm going to show you how to upload an image. So let's say you want to change the background of your website. And there's a whole bunch of categories you can choose from. You have this. Let's say, um, let's go nature, because we're a travel blog, travel blog. Find something that's interesting or that's catchy so that your visitors can easily capture or, you know, some, find something interesting that can catch attention to your future visitors. Let's say this one. All right. So as you can see, the background is already changed. And also if you want to customize, like you can actually go filter options and you can change the filter of the background. This is amazing actually. Hmm. You can, oh, cool, have shape divider, hmm. nice, this is actually a nice feature, okay, hmm. let's stick with that, and once you're done, you can also change the text, by the way, as I mentioned earlier, so if you want to change the travel with Yepida or the title of your website, you can always do that. And the tagline, the title too, follow me to learn how to be a blogger, or you can say, um, follow me for more traveling discoveries. Travel discovery. See, very easy. They also have ready text layout. So here, let's try this one.
there you go so it's like you know it all you have to do is just choose anything that suits you and just click and it will just change everything so this is really a I, re I, re I really recommend this site for those who are who are um, who don't have time to create or to change or to customize the site even if it's easy to use so it's this is like an instant website uh, that you can really go to it's like it's a really go-to website okay so right now I'm gonna edit the about me page so all you have to do is click on edit and then you can now edit the entire thing so the about page the core description so um, my name is Therese and I'm traveling so blah 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 so you can just delete the whole thing and start your own about me. So tell, like, um, share something about you, something like the place you've been to, and so on and so forth. So just after that, just click on save, and then, it will, of course, I'll, I'll just discard the changes for now. And then, let's go to page layout. So it's it seems that you have options to to choose from like here let's just check this one Ooh. Mm. cool cool what about this one I like this one better uh, okay and then Manage page. You have all this one. So basically, site one two three is so easy as one two three. So it has a lot of themes and layouts, designs that you can choose from, and also, although it's very much basic, like even junior, junior or senior high student can do this. And once you're content about your blog, then all you have to do is just click on publish and all changes are automatically saved to draft and click on publish when you're ready to upload your changes. There you go. Now it's time for the pros and cons of using site one, two, three. So they have a pretty excellent rating. Uh, this is based on trustpilot.com. So most of the comments here are like very straightforward like site one two three is easy to use every time you need help these guys from one two site one two three are there great ease of use and proficient help desk skills with people who never settle until a problem is really addressed properly satisfying experience on multiple occasions Also, they have um, this one here. My first ever website was easy as one, two, three. I, I successfully built my first ever website using one site one, two, three. Their response to assist me was very fast and thorough and was easy for me, a non-tech person. So, okay. So basically, the pros are that it's easy to use, nice themes, and Customer support is always ready to help. Um, however, the cons are, uh, it says they're expensive plans. So here we have um, actually, they're pretty much expensive. So they, you have the paid plans of gold, like it features all features. So at $857 a month. So you got your domain for a year, 270 gig storage, and so on and so forth. And the cheapest basic personal use is $321 for a month. You've got, you, you got a free domain for a year, 
10 gig storage, a 5 gig bandwidth, and you can remove site 1, 2, 3 floating tag, connect to your domain, and 100 mailing list messages. So pretty much it's expensive uh, compared to other uh, website builders I have reviewed. And also one um, review is that uh, they have limited designs, although they have actually have a lot. It's just that the functionality of the designs are limited. And yeah, basically those are two um, cons of using uh, site one two three. But overall, it's a it's a great website builder. It's easy to use and very it's user friendly. So it's like an all-in-one website builder for this online store and you have a website on your own so I think it's it's so I think it's worth the money but I don't know I always go for free as much as possible so there you go everyone that's the review I have for site one two three I hope it uh, give you an insight I gave you an insight on about the site <laughs> so it's up to you if you want to go for it or not all i can say is that it's free it's pretty much um amazing it's easy it's user friendly it has 24 7 customer support that you that you need so it's up to you so thank you again for watching um this video and i'll see you soon